Senators Booker and Gillibrand, two 2020 Democrats in early voting states this weekend, both of them responding to the scandals plaguing Democrats in Virginia, uh, many of them calling for Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax to resign. Fairfax says he isn't going anywhere, at least not yet. Let's discuss uh, with our experts here. And you were the former Attorney General for the Commonwealth uh, of uh, Virginia. What's going on in your state? Top three officials, all Democrats under fire. Well, and all within a week, all of these things exploding and literally almost in two-day increments, starting with the governor, of course, with his blackface pictures, um, was what took this national. It isn't what it started it in Virginia. And then Justin Fairfax, only two days later with the first sexual assault allegation. And you, you saw two 2020 Democrat contenders there reference the second allegation. But when the first one came out, he immediately came out and was shooting at the accuser, um, rhetorically speaking, of course, yeah. And, the Washington, and using the Washington Post as a shield. And they immediately called him out on that. So he has really violated rule number one when you're in a hole, stop digging. And now he's saying, I'm not going anywhere, but tomorrow I expect Democrats to submit a resolution of impeachment in Virginia. Um, and that will begin a process that has not been used in Virginia in our lifetimes. Are you worried at all, Congresswoman, about <laughs> the effect this is having on the 2020 candidates on the Democratic Party, uh, on anything having to do with, with the, uh, the agenda that you want to put forward? Well, we need Virginians to have somebody who could lead in that position, and that's my concern. Uh, my concern. Which position? All, and all, there are three, uh, three people yeah. under fire. So the yeah. governor, the lieutenant governor, or the well, attorney general? I thought also. you were referencing the, l yeah. the lieutenant governor. And what we do need people um, in Virginia who can lead. Um, we don't want to be distracted. Look, Democrats want to talk about our agenda. As you mentioned, we want to talk about lowering prescription drug prices. We need to talk about health care and having access to care. We need to talk about climate change. So we would like to talk about those issues and certainly make sure we avert a government shutdown. Are you at all concerned, Nina, Senator Turner, about the image of impeachment proceedings against an African-American lieutenant governor uh, while the attorney general and the governor, who have both admitted dressing up in blackface, escape any consequences? Very concerned, Jake. I was going to say, I hope that the legislature starts impeachment for all three of these folks. You know, what a hell of a way to start off Black History Month. Right. Totally right. lost. Right. And, and you know, I'm Black 365, but let's just say Black History Month is in February. We started off with this. Um, we're 400 years from 1619 to 2019. The first 20 Africans brought from Angola, they didn't sign up and jump on the boat or the ship themselves brought over to this country to Jamestown, Virginia, as slaves. My message to non-black people, don't wear a black face. Look at the rainbow mosaic of the black faces in this country. That is, there are the only black faces you should be talking about. But Jake, you hit the nail on the head, the hypocrisy in terms of this governor thinking, he even weighed in on whether or not uh, Lieutenant Governor Fairfax should go. They, all three of them need to go. And it is not a distraction to talk about racism in this country because it is in the DNA of this country. It's the first thing that this country was founded on, racism and bigotry. And we just got to understand that. Well, so, con Congresswoman Love, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. the attorney general himself called for the governor to resign when the governor's blackface pictures came out. Yeah, knowing that Four he had days, his own. No, which tells you he thought he was going to get away Arrogance. with it. Arrogance. Right. It is arrogant. Arrogance. I agree. And four days later, he's admitting it himself, and he's still there. Contempt and arrogance. Look, there is no daylight on this issue with anyone that we've actually seen that have said these people have to go. I've always presumed, and I, continue, I will continuously say this, you are innocent until you're proven guilty, but can you govern? Mm -hmm. Can you actually lead um, the, the state and start talking about policy issues? Now, remember the first time that we were talking about this governor was on the policy of the uh, abortion issue, the yep. third trimester abortion issue. We've gotten away from even talking about that, and we're going into his contempt for uh, life, his contempt for people um, of color. And then now we've gone into the lieutenant governor. This is just, a, which is actually a criminal um, a accusation. So. They have really got to just just wipe everything clean, start all over, so that we can we can govern and but let Jay, can I add, I just want to add to what the congresswoman is saying. This is not just about people of color. I want folks to understand this. This is anti-blackness. So let's make this clear. This is anti-blackness. Blackface in the mid to late uh, 19th century, 1800s, was about mocking black people, our humanity, our beauty our culture. 
what we mean to this country. So this ain't a conversation about people of color. This is a conversation about anti-black racism, white supremacy in the United States of America. So Governor Ralph Northam uh, came out of hiding and uh, gave an interview to the Washington Post saying that he wants to focus on racial inequality during the rest of the time as governor. Here's what he said, quote, there are ongoing inequities to access to things like education, healthcare, mortgages, capital, entrepreneurship. I want to heal that pain, and I want to make sure that all Virginians have equal opportunity, and I think I'm the person that can do that for Virginia. Too little, too late. Uh, it, no credibility, and I actually, I'm offended by that. Too little, I'm offended. Too late. It's almost yeah. like, let me, let me fix what's going on here, so I, you know, let me go and focus on something yes. else so that people can stop focusing on the things that I did when I was 25. Well, and, and, and he wants to have his repentance as the governor of Virginia. Look, you resign yes. and you go get your own repentance and you let us continue on in Virginia with actual That's governance right. by people who legitimately ought to be in the office. Well, let me ask you a question, yes. Congresswoman, as, a, as the elected Democrat at the table. Uh, if all three of them resign, mm -hmm. uh, then I believe the Republican Speaker of the House of Delegates becomes governor. Uh, you don't want that. No, but we need to think about doing what's right and what's right for Virginians and what's right overall. I mean, look at the race issue in today's day and age with the president at the helm, who has been one of the most divisive presidents, and frankly, racist himself, is a conversation we do need to have. Um, but looking at just the line of order and saying, no, we're not going to do that because of the consequences, is not the right way to do this. And so for me, I, would, I do think we need to have this conversation, and we should continue to have this conversation, but it has to be front and center. And we can't forget about the person who is dividing us and who himself is injecting this into the country to live up again and, and coming out again. And we haven't seen it be this bad in recent time till the president has really made this um, a race issue, whether it's about um, African-Americans. Certainly, he's doing it all over the board with immigrants. But hey, we need to have this conversation. I cannot. Well, I just can't. 1984, 1980, right. Gucci, just a few days ago, this is not about President Donald Trump. This is about racism in the United States of America. Congresswoman, I hear you, but on this, we're not blaming President Trump. I'm he saying he that he has, listen, he has divided no, this country. No, let me, let me just say this. He is using it's race easy. as I am issue. not going to let, continue to let politicians use this man as the excuse to deal with racism in this country. It's been going on for far too long in the United States of America. We need some real truth and re reconciliation. Yes, President Donald Trump is a racist. There is no doubt about it. But as we have seen, Democrats delve in racism as well. We got to stop making this about who's a Republican, who's a right. Democrat. I want to know who's a humanitarian. That's right. I want to know who's going to stand up for people's lives, starting with black lives, because when you take care of black lives, everybody's life is taken care of. Everyone's life is taken care of. So no more about this. These three men, it had nothing to do with President Trump. What Go Lieutenant Governor Fairfax is going through don't have nothing to do with President Trump. Northam wearing blackface don't have nothing to do with Donald Trump. Harrington wearing blackface has nothing to do with what Donald Trump. What, this is about racism in the DNA of this country, and I am over it. Exactly we are right. traumatized, Jake, and we are sick of it. You know, now, what, po what, politicians what is, need to stop being, playing what games. What is being said is exactly right. It's about personal responsibility for your own actions and the things that you've done. When he was 25 years old, uh, it wasn't he couldn't blame Donald Trump for his behavior right. at 25 years old. <laughs> I mean, you can't you, and you in have medical to take school, responsibility right. for the things that you do. And well, I think that that's the problem with the Virginia right. governor. Is that and first he said, sir. oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that uh, Yeah, that was me. I'm sorry about the picture. Then it was like, well, I don't really remember. And his wife is keeping him from actually moonwalking. I mean, this is a person that he does not know what where the appropriate levels are. I mean, he cannot, he can't govern. So it's absolutely time for him to go um, and, and wipe the slate clean. And I appreciate, by the way, um, the representative saying that this has nothing to do with what, you know, who's next in line and, and the risk of Republicans actually taking office. This has to do with right and wrong. And this and this these are clearly well, wrong um, places I, for these. I appreciate people. those comments as well. But, and I'm not speaking to you, but they're new on the Democrat side. Ralph Northam got universal calls for resignation. When this became the whole Democrat power structure, it got really quiet. Well, there haven't until, been as many calls for Herring to resign. Until right. the Disney second General. sexual assault allegation. Right. Then it broke it loose again. But if you look at that timeline, 
it got very quiet and it was, we might be more accepting of racism or rape than we are of Republicans. It started to look like that They ain't telling the truth on that, Jake. I mean, I hate that, you know, mm. Fairfax has to go too. But when Northam was running in 2017, you recall, because of a labor union, he wouldn't put Fairfax's right. picture That's yeah. right. on his literature. Thanks one and all for being here.